One of the perks of my job is being able to test out a lot of laptops, but people ask me, what do I use personally? Well, I've decided, at least for the next few months, it's gonna be the X1 Yoga. Today, I'll tell you why. Stay tuned. All right, now before we get started, I wanna make sure this is very clear. I'm not saying this is the best laptop all around. What I am trying to say is, what is the best laptop for me and my workflow? So I recently compared this device to the Surface Book 2 15 inch, and while that's a great device, if I had to go buy it myself, I'm not so sure it would be the best fit. Sure, a GTX 1060 is awesome. Who wouldn't want that? Well, if you gotta spend $3,000 to get it and you don't ever really use it, well, that could be a problem. And in fact, this is sort of the issue with buying a laptop these days. It's super complicated and there are a ton of choices out there. While something may sound good on paper, in reality, you may not actually use it. I mentioned how I like conceptually the idea of gaming while I'm traveling and I never do it. And that's only complicated by the fact I have a Nintendo Switch now, so I really don't game on a PC at all. And when it comes to the yoga, this is the one that fits my lifestyle best for right now. It gets really good battery life. I was able to get it in silver, which I mentioned doesn't show fingerprints, and I was right, it is a great color. I think this is a better choice for those of you who don't like to wipe down your laptop all the time. I also like the two-in-one option. I don't always use it in tablet mode, but I like having the ability to switch to it and not really compromise while I'm doing it. There's also the thing with the pen. So I do like the idea of a pen, but as I mentioned, I don't draw, I don't doodle, I don't do anything, but I have needed a pen on occasion, maybe to sign a document. Those NDAs come up every once in a while. And I like having the pen always built into the chassis. This is the ideal situation for those of you who like the idea of a pen, but don't always need one with you and don't wanna go spend a hundred bucks for one. Now, not everything is rosy with the X1 Yoga. One of the benefits I gave this device was you can order with LTE. So, how's the LTE on this? I can't tell you. The reason why is when I went to go order it, you can order LTE now, but you can only get it with the full HD display, which only does 270 nits of brightness. I'm still a little hesitant. I may have been happy with that choice, but I ended up going with the HDR display with that higher resolution. And the way I rationalized that was because I look at the display 100% of the time, while LTE is just nice to have on occasion. But these are the kind of choices you have to make and it's pretty difficult. It simply comes down to the processor. So I chose the Core i7-8650U with V Pro. It's the top end that you can get here with this device. I probably would have been fine with the Core i5 though. I really don't need the Core i7. And part of me is wondering, should I have gotten the Core i5 to save a little bit on battery life, not to mention costs. So it is very difficult to choose these devices and even me, who have all these laptops in front of me, I don't 100% know if I actually made the right decision. So I totally understand. Now, another reason I chose the X1 Yoga was because it's relatively light. It's also very durable. I'm a big fan of the Yoga's ability to withstand drops and scratches and all that. The surface is very nice, but it's also very delicate. I've scratched a few in my lifetime. And when I travel, I actually feel a little bit more secure carrying this around with me. The security stuff is actually pretty good on this as well. If you like the privacy cam and all those other options, the X1 Yoga is a really good choice or a lot of Lenovo stuff in general. Overall though, when it comes to all the best things that work for me, I really like the display, the keyboard. Well, it's a Lenovo keyboard, so it's one of the best on the market. It's got a precision trackpad. The audio is better than I expected on this device. It just has all the features I need for my job, which is mostly word processing. So even though I get to test a lot of laptops, those are a few reasons why I like the X1 Yoga over everything else on the market today, at least for my needs. You have very different needs and you're gonna have to make those decisions accordingly. And I feel you, it's a tough decision to make. After all, I'm playing now with the XPS 15 2-in-1 and that's an outstanding device as well. So it's good to have this Envy out there. Just make sure you go through and think about what you actually need this laptop for versus what conceptually you may think you need it for. As it could save you a lot of money at the end and you may be happier with something else. But what about you? Leave me a comment below about which laptop you recently bought or if you could buy one tomorrow, what's the realistic one you would actually get? If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.